Keto Willis here, your beauty image strategist and confidence coach. And today, I am here to talk about how to take off in 2018, and it starts with clarity, right? Stay tuned. Today I want to talk about goals for 2018. So if you have not already started writing your goals or you haven't planned for 2018, which I'm quite sure you have because everybody's done it, right? Right? So if you haven't, I want to encourage you to go ahead and get busy. It's time to get busy and that's what this video is all about. It's about gaining clarity and getting clear on what it is that you want right so 2018 is gonna be different for you girl it's gonna be different okay it is no more hiding behind that curtain it's no more of you saying hey mm, when the kids get a little bigger or it's it's no more it's just no more hiding girl come on come on get on board with us but the biggest thing though, let's get serious here. The biggest thing about, you know, just gaining clarity and achieving our goals is the fact that we just have so much clutter, right? Clutter here, clutter in the brain. So the thing about it is, is that you have got to know how to declutter the brain. You gotta realize that the way that technology is set up right now, Technology is delivering things at a, at a fast rate. And the human brain was not designed to process all of that information very rapidly, like how we're receiving it. So the key thing here is to just know that piece. If you just know that piece, then you're gonna know just why it's super duper important um, for you to dump all of that out of your brain on a regular basis. It's all about gaining clarity. It's all about uncovering those things of us that we really want to do, but it's just so buried in us that we don't even know you know where you want to go. What? So How every you day when that you wake up, right? I had to get comfortable. Y'all get comfortable too. Because we, we're getting, we're gonna talk about some things. This is gonna be a series. So, so it's all about just getting clear with your vi visions and knowing what it is that you truly want to do. So, what you have got to do is you have got to bring them. Again, the technology that's coming at us is at a rapid speed. So, therefore, you need to dump out just as quickly as it's coming in. Because what happens is that all of those thoughts, those ideas, they end up getting cloudy. They get cloudy because they're coming at you in a flash. When God blesses you with a, a vision and with a dream, He's gonna give it to you in a flash. But then if social media comes, you check your social media, you got all of this going on, you know, you have this this challenge you wanna you know, particip participate with the name. You have that challenge you want to participate with. So then now you're all clouded up, right? So what you want to do is you want to brain dump. And the first part of this series is about getting clear. So in the description of this video, I did download or you can download the document that I have there. And what it is is that it's a document where you can brain dump. I broke it down in the middle on one side it's not today and then on the other side it's um yes and it's written because for, for the, the female entrepreneurs and it's written in my words right so what it is that before we get into 2018 while we're planning our goals what we want to do is we want to on the not today side we want to think about things that we do not want to continue with us into 2018 so from a business standpoint is it that you don't want to work with clients that drain you right so you don't want to work with clients that drain you you don't want negative energy around you you don't want to continue in a relationship that is 
completely dead, it's not going anywhere, and it's taking more energy than you have to give, girl. You just don't have all of that energy to give, right? You have to think about the things that you don't want to take over into 2018 as it relates to what was blocking you and distracting you from getting your goals accomplished. For me in business, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't want to take in to 2018 like the social media, the scrolling in social media. Social media is always going to be there for my business for me to, of course, communicate with you guys because I love it. I absolutely love it. But as far as when I get on social media, such as Facebook, Instagram, things like that I'm talking about. And my goal is just to get on there, post something, and then have you ever noticed that when you get on social media, you start scrolling, and you start scrolling, and then you're like, oh, that's a nice outfit. Oh, look at her makeup. Oh, what are they talking about? Oh, what's going on with her? Oh, let me go over to her fan page. Oh, they broke up. Oh my gosh, what's happening? So it's, it's things like that that you don't want to take over into 2018. I don't want to take the mundane of me just, you know, getting distracted in, in that area. You know, um, so you want to think about things that you don't want to take over into 2018. What was distracting you from achieving your goal? When you look at your 2017 goals and you realize, hmm, maybe I could have gotten more done, I want you to ask yourself a real question. What prevented you from getting them done? And I guarantee you it's all going to be in your time management. So I want you to really get real with yourself. This is time to get real. There's no other time but the present, baby. It's no other time but the present. So you want to ask yourself, okay, did I start that business? Did I get that degree? Did I spend more time with my family? Whatever the case may be, did I make more money? Did I meet my financial goals? Whatever the situation may be, you want to be real with yourself. You don't want to hide yourself. You don't want to hide from yourself. That's just bottom line. And a lot of times that's what happens. That's what we do. And then we don't. We don't really lay out what it is that we really need to get done because we're hiding. We're hiding and it has got to stop. So say for instance, if it is, hey, you know, um, I didn't start that business. Okay, so what do you not need to take over into 2018 that prevented you from starting that business? You don't want no more fear. You don't want to take over doubt. You don't want to take over negative um, talk to yourself. Most importantly, negative talk to yourself just kills you. It is absolutely killing you. Okay, so you didn't um, get that degree, right? You wanted to go back to school, you didn't go back to school. What prevented you from doing that? Write it down on the not today side. That way you know it's right there on paper in front of you why you didn't get it done. And then on that document, on the other side, I want you to write down what it was that actually worked for you, okay? I want you to write down what worked for you and then what you want to see more of in 2018. So, okay, we all want more money, right? Business owners, let's be, let's come on. We want more clients. We want clients that love us. We want clients that value us. And we want to work with people that want to work with us, right? We want to work with people that does nothing but bring joy and positive energy. So then now we have to decide, okay, what do I need more of to attract more of this type of client? Here it is. You got to be real. What do I need more of to attract this type of client? If you need more profits, okay, so what hindered me from meeting my financial goals in 2017? Was it that I didn't promote myself more? Maybe I need to do more Facebook ads. Maybe I need to start my Instagram. Maybe I need to get on Pinterest. Whatever your niche is, you have to, got to decide and realize and figure out what works for your particular niche, your particular business. You have to figure out 
what works for you. And I guarantee you, when you know your target audience, you know where they hang out at, you know what they're doing at all times, you know how much money they make, you know what kind of, you know where to go meet them at, you know? You have got to know that about yourself and your clients whenever you're into business. You got to know where your people are. You have to know where your people are. If you want more financial freedom, you want more time with your family, then you need to write down those things that is going to get you more time with your family. Is it going to be writing out a plan to leave your nine to five? Is it going to be writing out a plan to system um, to add systems to your business, to place your business on automation? What is it that's going to free up your time to hang out with your family more, to do more with your family? And I know us as mothers, especially speaking from the mother standpoint, you want to, you feel so guilty when you don't hang out with your kids. You feel so guilty when you're just working, 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 working. And you want to be able to, you know, plan time to just hang out, chill, Netflix and chill with your kids. Or go out, take them on vacations. You want to be able to do that and you want to recognize how to get more of that going into 2018. If you want to add different programs to your business, then you need to figure that out. You need to figure out how to get that program started. And you need to put a deadline on it. You gotta put a deadline on it. We'll talk about that on part two of this. So you wanna be able to get clear. So again, first thing is being real with yourself. I want you to start asking yourself the one question. What goals did I have planned out for me in 2017. Question two, did I meet those goals? Question three, why did I not meet those goals? And then question four is, what do I want more of in 2018? And you're gonna put it all on this paper. You're brain dumping, and I, when you brain dump, you don't think too hard because you know, you know what, what you didn't get done and you know why you didn't get it done. It's all about being real with yourself. So you're, you're, you're working real fast, you're writing real fast, you're just, you're just writing it down, writing it down really, really quickly so that it is dumped out and it's right there in front of you. Right there in front of you. If on your more side, if you want more of um, a certain type of business, you want to go over into a different type of niche, you want to excel and you know um, change your career, write it down, write it down because on part two of this, we're going to plan this thing out, okay? So with that being said and done, if this video helped you in any type of way, I want you to give it a thumbs up, I want you to subscribe, that way you are notified when part two comes out. And don't forget to download the PDF file that will be in the um, description part of this video. So just hit the link, download the PDF, and get to work because you need that part completed by the time I come back with part two. All right, guys. So until next time, do not forget to always aspire to inspire someone. Everyone needs your motivation. Everyone needs your smile. Have a blessed day. And again, see you on the next one.